English for Arabs is English for all. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Highlight key concepts. Reveal answers to exercises. Annotate passages. Play class audio passages and video segments. And even embed web links right into your lessons. You can learn English as a second language. Hello again and welcome to the intro video for Unit 12. Let's get started. Again, we are at the doctor's office. Last time, we had vocabulary about different types of health problems. Today, we have vocabulary about different common medications for those health problems. For example, here we have cough syrup. And cough syrup we take for a cough, obviously, or maybe a sore throat. Next, we have cold pills. What are pills? Well, these are pills. And we take cold pills generally for a cold or a flu. Next we have antacid. Antacid. Or some people say anacid. And anacid we take for a stomach ache. Next we have muscle cream. Muscle cream. And muscle cream we take for sore muscles or a backache. Sore muscles is when you have pain in your muscles. The muscles are sore. So we say sore muscles. Next we have aspirin. And aspirin, of course, we take for a headache or general pain in all of the body. Next we have eye drops. Eye drops are for dry eyes. Next we have nasal spray. Nasal spray is for your nose when you have allergies. Allergies. And last, we have cough drops. What are cough drops? Well, these are cough drops. And obviously, we use cough drops for when we have a cough or a sore throat, similar to cough syrup. All right, very good. Look at the picture, what do you see? Two young ladies, where are they? This one, she's a young lady. And she's very tired. There is her purse, purse, bag, full of files. This one, she's a doctor, she's a doctor, she's wearing a white jacket. This is a clinic, a clinic. Conversation, don't work too hard, don't work hard, don't work too much. Listen and repeat. 81 exercise 6 conversation don't work too hard listen and practice hello miss west how are you today not so good 
What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Dr. Young and Ms. West. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? How are you? How are you doing? Not so good. Not good. What's wrong exactly? What's the matter? What's wrong? What's the problem? What's the matter? I'm exhausted. Exhausted? Very, very tired. I'm very tired. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. I cannot sleep at night. Okay. Let's take a look at you. Let's have a look. A few minutes later. Later? After some time. After a while. Dr. Young and Ms. West. I'm gonna give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Take a pill after dinner. After you finish dinner, you should take a pill. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Soda, Pepsi, Cola, 7-Up. Anything else? Anything else? What else? Yes. Don't work too hard. Don't work too much. Don't work much. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. This conversation between a doctor and a sick woman, a patient, an ill woman. How is the woman? How is the young lady? How is she? She is not. How is she? She is not so good. What's wrong with her? She is exhausted. She is very tired. Why is she so tired? She doesn't know. She doesn't know. She can't sleep at night. What does the doctor give her? The doctor is going to give her some pills. What does the doctor order? She orders her. She asks her to take one pill every evening after dinner. One pill, one tablet. What else? Don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Also, the woman, the young woman, the sick woman, the ill woman shouldn't work too hard. All right, okay. Seven, listening. Let's take a look. Listen to Dr. Young. Dr. Young talk to four other patients. Patients, sick people, ill people. What does she give them? Check through the correct medications. Again, number seven, listening. Let's take a look. Listen to Dr. Young talk to four other patients. What does she give them? Check through the correct medications. In this exercise, you will listen to the four persons, Chuck, Pam, Joey, Sandra. Then, you listen. Choose the medicine, cough drops, aspirin, cold pills, eye drops, nasal spray, muscle cream. Nasal spray for nose, nose. Eye drops, drops for eyes. Cold pills, pills for those who have cold. Aspirin, cough drops, cough, <laughs> this is cough, cough. Cough drops. 
Listen. Page 81, exercise 7. Listening. Let's take a look. Listen to Dr. Young talk to four other patients. What does she give them? Check the correct medications. 1. How are you feeling today, Chuck? Not so great. I have a really bad earache. Let's take a look. Hmm. I'm going to give you some aspirin. Okay. Anything else? Yes. Don't go swimming for a week. 1. Chuck What's the matter with Mr. Chuck? What is the problem? Chuck has an earache. Pains in ears. What does the doctor tell him? To take some aspirin. Take aspirin. So Chuck, take aspirin. And he shouldn't swim. Two. How do you feel today, Pam? A little better. But I have a sore knee. It really hurts, actually. Hmm. Let me see. Yes. Well, I'm going to give you some muscle cream. Rub some on your knee three times a day. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Two. Pam. Pam has a sore knee. Her knee is sore. What does the doctor order her? She ordered her to take muscle cream. Muscle cream should take muscle cream. How many times? Rub muscle cream three times a day. For three times. To rub, to put the cream on the skin, on her knee. Three. Jewy. What's the matter, Joey? I think I have a cold. I feel awful. I have a sore throat and a headache. Okay, let's take a look. Yes, you have a cold. Let me give you some cold pills. Take one every four hours. <coughs> Do you have a cough too? Yeah. All right, here are some cough drops. I hope they help. Joey? What is the matter of Joey? Joey has a problem. He has cold. The doctor give him give him cold pills. Cold pills. He has a cough too. <laughs> this is cough. So the doctor give Joey cough drops. Cold pills. Take a pill every four hours four Sandra listen four what can I do for you Sandra I have really itchy eyes and well it's my nose is it difficult to breathe a little I think it's my allergies I see well try these eye drops and I'm going to give you some nasal spray thank you What's the matter of Sandra? Sandra has itchy eyes and her nose. The doctor gave her for her eyes eye drops, eye drops for eyes and nasal spray, nasal spray. Again, the answers. Number one, chalk, aspirin, chalk, aspirin. Two, Pam, muscle cream. Three, Joey, cold pills, cough drops. Cold pills and cough drops. Four, Sandra, eye drops, nasal spray. Eye drops. Nasal spray. Exercise number eight. Pronunciation, phonetics, sentence intonation. 
In this exercise, you listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these sentences. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Page 81, exercise 8, pronunciation. Sentence intonation. Part A, listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these sentences. Take some aspirin. Try these eye drops. Use some muscle cream. Don't drink coffee. Don't work too hard. Don't exercise this week. Number 8. Pronunciation. Sentence intonation. Listen and repeat. Notice the intonation in these sentences. Take some aspirin so the sound is down. Try these eye drops. Sound is down. Use some muscle cream. Use some muscle cream. Sound is down. Don't drink coffee. Don't work too hard. Don't exercise this week. So when I have a sentence, the sound is down. In all of these sentences, sound is down. Exercise 9, this is grammar, grammar focus. Page 82, exercise 9, grammar focus. Imperatives. Get some rest. Drink lots of juice. Take one pill every evening. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Don't work too hard. Imperatives. Imperatives orders. Get some rest. Drink lots of juice. Take one pill every evening. We start with verb plus object. An imperative in giving order verb plus object. Get rest. Drink juice. Take a pill. Negative. Don't. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Don't work too hard. Don't. Verb. Mean verb. Don't drink soda. Object. Don't work too hard. Don't plus main verb. Imperatives. Imperatives are verbs with no subject. We use imperatives for orders, mandates, and suggestions. But first, let's look at this sentence. Mr. McDonald says, I have a cough. This is a normal sentence in English because we have the subject I and the verb have. Normal sentences always use a subject for the verb, but in today's grammar, the imperatives do not use a subject with the verb. And these are orders, mandates, and suggestions. Let's look at some examples that Dr. White gives Mr. McDonald. For example, take some cough drops. Take is the verb, and there is no subject. So this verb is an imperative. It is an order or a mandate or a suggestion. Take some cough drops or drink some hot tea. Again, the verb and no subject. Another example of an imperative for a suggestion, stay home and rest in bed. We have two imperatives, stay and rest. Notice there are no subjects in the sentence, only the verb. 
Now, sometimes we give a suggestion or an order, and it's a negative imperative. For the negative imperative, we use don't for all types of sentences and the verb. So, for example, one example of a negative imperative, Dr. White says, is don't yell and don't sing. This is yell. And when you have a cough, it's important. Don't yell and don't sing. Another example of the negative imperative, don't drink anything cold. Very good. So to review, the imperatives in English we use to give orders, mandates, and suggestions. And the imperative is a verb with no subject. For example, take some cough drops. Very good. All right. So now it's time to practice. Complete these sentences. Use the correct forms of the words in the box. We have here different verbs. You write these verbs here in these sentences. Number two, if I have negative not, you use don't. Like not worry, don't worry. One minute, answer the question. One, call a dentist. Two, don't worry too much. Don't worry too much. Three, take. Take two aspirin. Take two aspirin. Two aspirin, what sound? Four, don't go to school. Don't go to school. Don't go to school. Five, stay in bed. Stay in bed. Six, see a doctor, see a doctor. Seven, don't drink coffee, don't drink coffee. Eight, don't eat any candy, don't eat any candy. Candy, sweets, desserts. Again, the answers, one, cold, two, don't worry. Three, tick. Four, don't go. Don't go. Five, stay. Six, see. Seven, don't drink. Eight, don't eat. Exercise number ten, good advice. Write two pieces of advice for each problem. In this exercise, you have different problems. You will write two advice, two pieces of advice for every one, for every picture. One, look at her, a young lady. She has a problem in her feet, feet. One, foot, a foot. Two, feet. My feet hurt. My feet hurt. So, advice. Example. A. I feel awful. Awful? Too bad. What's the matter? What's the problem? My feet hurt. My feet hurt. B. I have an idea. Take a hot bath and don't. Take a hot bath. Here is another idea. Put some ice on it. Put some ice on your feet. Don't wear those high heels. So number one, put some ice on your feet. 
Don't wear these high heels. Two. I have a sore wrist. This is rest, rest. This is the rest, and he has sore wrist. Two. Take some aspirin. Take a rest. Don't play video games. Two. For sore wrist. Don't. Don't play video game. Take a rest. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. Take a rest. Don't play video game. Three. Look at the picture. Someone who's sick. He's sleeping on the bed. Maybe he's sleeping. Maybe he's lying on the bed. He has a thermometer. 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 British thermometer. American thermometer. Thermometer to measure the temperature. I have the flu. For the flu, don't go to school. See a doctor. Drink orange juice. Drink lemon juice. Rest in bed. Three. Don't go to school. See a doctor. Drink orange juice. Drink lemon juice. Rest in bed. Four. I can't sleep at night. Look at the picture. A young lady. She's on the bed. She can't sleep. She's awake. I can't sleep at night. One. Don't drink coffee. Listen to a relaxing music. Listen to music. Drink warm milk. Don't exercise late at night. Drink. So don't drink coffee. Listen to relaxing music. Drink warm milk. Don't exercise late at night. Exercise number 12, reading. Reading. This exercise, this is a passage for reading, the kota. We're going to listen first. Ten simple ways to improve your health. How can you improve your health? How can you develop your health? Page 83. Exercise 12. Reading. 10 Simple Ways to Improve Your Health. Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 very simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Four, drink eight glasses of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. Five, stretch for five minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. Six, get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods like yogurt, Milk and cheese have calcium. Seven, do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Eight, take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk or sit down and listen to music. Nine, 
wear a seatbelt. Every year, seatbelts save thousands of lives. 10. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. What are the 10 simple ways to improve your health, to develop your health? Believe it or not, surprise, you can greatly improve your health in 10 very simple ways. You can improve, you can develop your health very much in these 10 rules, 10 ways. One, eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. If you eat breakfast in the morning, you will have energy. Two, look at the picture. They are walking on the grass. Two, go for a walk. Walking is a good exercise. An exercise is necessary for good health. Walking, American walking, is very important for your health. Three, floss your teeth. What means floss? This is a thread. You floss your teeth. Don't just brush the teeth. Don't brush them. But flossing keeps your gums healthy. This is to floss the teeth. Four, Drink eight glasses of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. You should drink a lot of water every day. Water is the secret of life. Five, stretch for five minutes. Stretch, do exercises, like stretching the arms, stretching the legs, stretching the legs in the arms. Stretching is important for your muscles. These are the muscles and when you stretch, this is very good for your health. Six, get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Your bones need calcium. Dairy foods like yogurt, do you know yogurt? Milk and cheese have calcium. You have calcium in cheese, in milk, and in yogurt. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. Do something difficult to make your brain work harder. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. You have here crossword puzzle? You try to answer it. Crossword puzzles, you have different words, you try to get the meaning. What is the word? Or read a book. Eight. Take time out. A break of about 20 minutes. You should take break time, do something different. For example, get up and walk. Get up in the morning and walk or sit down and listen to music. Start to listen to relaxing music. 9. Wear a seat belt. This is seat belt. When you drive the car, you should wear seat belt. Every year, seat belts, safety belts, save thousands of lives. Seat belts stop car accidents. 10. Protect your skin. This is the skin, the skin of the body. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizers and sunscreen. Sunscreen to protect you from the sun and moisturizers.
A. Read the article then complete the sentences. Read this article and then write the answers here. One minute, try to answer. A. Read the article, then complete the sentences. 1. To get exercise, go for a walk. 2. To help your bones, get enough calcium. To help your bones, get enough calcium. Get enough calcium. 3. To help your muscles, to help your muscles, stretch, stretch for five minutes, stretch for five minutes. Four, to keep your gums healthy, to keep your gums healthy, floss your teeth, floss your teeth. To have energy for the morning, eat breakfast. To challenge your brain, do a crossword puzzle, read a new book. Do a crossword puzzle, read a new book. Again, the answers. 1. Go for a walk. 2. Get enough calcium. 3. Stretch for 5 minutes. 4. Floss your teeth. 5. Eat breakfast. 6. Do a crossword puzzle. Read a new book. That's the end of unit number 12. Please, homework. Read the words by heart and keep them by heart. Number 2, listen and repeat. 3, watch the video. 4, Answer three pages. Wish you all good luck. Hope you like it, share it, and subscribe. See you. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser-focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages, and video segments and even embed web links right into your lessons let us show you how presentation plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons visit the link below or contact your cambridge university press representative for a demonstration today Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.